The last time I recorded a video like this was a little under 11 months ago, and the video seemed to be rated quite well. So today I'm back again, after 8 months of no uploads, I'm here to talk to you about 21 year old Piero Kingaby and why he should be a top priority for Liverpool this January. The young defender can play both centre back and left back, which makes him a valid backup or replacement for an ageing Robertson and an ageing Van Dijk. However, with that being said, Liverpool do have good squad depth for these positions, and if you want me to go over them all in a separate video, I will. But for today, the focus is on Hinkaby. Hinkaby made the switch to Leverkusen at the age of 19 after impressing for Ecuador at the 2021 Copa America. He was handed a senior international debut in the group opener against Colombia. The six foot defender started all five games as his country reached the quarterfinals, where they lost 3 0 to the eventual winners, Argentina. He had already made 33 competitive appearances for Argentinian club Tolerez when he signed a five year old deal with Leverkusen, for whom he debuted and scored his first goal in the 2021-2022 UEFA Europa League group stage. Hinkerby wrapped up his Bundesliga debut with 27 appearances under his belt, alongside a, success, a tackle success rate of 85% and 82% pass completion. He went to the 2022 World Cup with Ecuador and lasted the duration of all three of his country's games as they exited the group stage. A 2020 under-20s Copa 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 Libertadores winner for Boyhood Club Independiente del Val. The Leverkusen number three has since played 14 times in the Europa, UEFA club competition. He flits between centre and left back for Die Well Search Colours, but has won all of his senior international caps to date in the heart of Ecuador defence. On the 12th of February 2023, Hinkerby extended his Leverkusen contract by adding an additional year to it, making him leave in the summer of 2027. Once again, he was hoovering around the 80% tackle success rate and challenges won and pass completion at the end of 2022-2023 season. Comparing this to Joe Gomez, who averages 1.96 per 90, and Joel Matip, who averages 1 per 90, he also attempts 70 passes per 90 with an 85% success rate. If Liverpool were to make an offer for him, they would have to be in the margin of 35 million to 50 million. And I think for his age, it is a must for Liverpool, especially with Virgil van Dijk and Joel Matip not getting any younger. But that does wrap up today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. And if you haven't already, then subscribe. In the next episode, we will be covering the brilliance of Dominic Sobersly and how good he has been for Liverpool so far this season. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.